Now something just happened that made my heart jump into my throat. And this is regarding Malaya. Guys, some amazing news. Mabuhay squad, Malaya officially escaped the cage. Hey, we gotta go to the hard hardware store to really secure this cage. Anyways, what I was really going to say was uh, the great news is that Malaya is officially talking. Yes. Right now they're um they're starting off as little sort of like midway chirps slash vocalizations. I, I feel like her repertoire of sounds is really increasing. Some of them sound like human voice recordings, as weird as that is. So I feel like she's kind of in her baby talk stage right now. I'm so excited about this, guys. So in case you guys didn't know, Minas, like Malaya over here, happen to be the best talkers in the bird world. Like, even better than parrots. So I've been trying to teach her different words, like Mabuhay. And I'm sure she's even trying to say her name. Like, I felt like she was trying to say Malaya like that. And I mean, it makes sense. We're, we're always calling her, calling her name out. So maybe she's trying to say Malaya. And of course, I'm still trying to teach her some Maya Carey. <laughs> so we can call her Malaya Carey. Huh? Anyways, that's the great news. And the not so great news, she can still escape her cage. <laughs> so I'm editing a vlog and Malaya is trying to chase the mouse. <gasps> she thinks it's a bug. See? <laughs> At least we know she can see the screen. See guys? I don't know if you can hear that, but... Hear that? Hear those little chatters and stuff? Those are vocalizations. Mabuhay! 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 Pilipinas! This will be a best day spend in life! Mabuhay! 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 I give my all to have just one more night with you. I risk my life to feel your body next to mine. Cause I can't go on living in the memory of the song I give my all to your love tonight Still editing here guys and wow she is ever chatty She's stopping now because she knows we're filming her. She's self-conscious, but she's just non-stop chatting. I don't know what she's trying to say, but I do hear her vocalizing a lot. And it's really, really cool. Someone's getting ready to take a bath. There she goes. <laughs> I love it. I love watching her take a bath. I don't know, there's something satisfying about it. It's so funny. Guys, look how bananas she goes over this super worm box. It's like her cookie jar. Gosh, she loves it. She has about three or four, and then she's full. You're hilarious, Malaya. I'm a boy squad. RJ and I are going to the Palenque. Yes, Palenque. All right. Time to take a tricycle to the Palenque. Here we 
Here we go, Magoy Squad, the roller coaster of the Philippines. All right, my boy squad, we're here in the barangay. Woo! And we're going to the Palenque. I love this place. These are my roots. I've been coming to this Palenque now for six years. I used to buy everything here when I first moved here. See, look. Mmm, suman. All these Filipino desserts. Conchinta. Yummy. So much pancit, dried, fresh fruits. Love it. Look at the coconut. Mm. And you know what, guys? If you choose a coconut, they can cut it up and you can drink it fresh here on the spot. Hey, check it out. He's opening jackfruit. <gasps> Have you guys ever seen a real jackfruit? I love jackfruit. Look, guys. Look at what a jackfruit looks like. <gasps> I had never seen a real jackfruit till I came to the Philippines. Growing up in Canada, we always had it in cans, like preserved in a can. See, and they just sell the pieces just like that. Awesome. Mmm. Santol, guys. I know you guys are craving it if you know what it tastes like. <laughs> so sour. We have plantain, mmm, mangoes for days. All right, RJ, what do we buy? We bought blunder. Flounder, guys. Yeah, yeah, it's a type of fish. I've never had flounder. It's huge. Some vegetables for the fish. Ginger, papaya, this big size for 50 pesos. Wow. And apples for Malaya. Awesome. All fresh. Mm -hmm. And they say the palenque is fresher than the supermarket. That's what they say. And I think shopping at the palenque is great because, well, for one, it's cheaper. And second of all, it supports the local market, right? You support local entrepreneurship, which is so important. Support, we support each other. We're not crabs, we just eat them. <laughs> so here's the road, see? It's a little rough, um, if you're not used to it, but <laughs> my eyes have like completely calibrated to Manila surroundings. Now I remember when I first moved here, um, or when I first came to Philippines, I would walk around you know, the neighborhood and I'd be like, ooh, it's a little dirty and kind of like messy and scary. But then when you live here and then you spend some time here, like somewhere around, I think it was the two month or three month point of living here in Manila, where my eyes had recalibrated in a way. And all of a sudden I got used to this kind of surrounding. And things didn't look so dirty and untidy anymore. It just, it became my new default, right? And I don't find this dirty at all, actually. I've just, it's, it's home now. It's hard to describe. And I really felt it when I went back to Canada. And even at the airport, I could feel I wasn't in my default surrounding. Like everything was clean and orderly and just very sterile, you know what I mean? very set, very formatted. And that's the way life is over in North America. Everything is, it's a safe, comfortable, neat bubble. Whereas here in the Philippines, I find it's a lot of chaos and like just stimulation everywhere. And I never would have understood it if I had not come to the Philippines to experience it for myself. It's this weird thing. You guys will experience it for those of you who haven't been to the Philippines. When you come here, there's just this certain thing. You'll feel out of your comfort zone at first, but then you get used to it after a while. And it becomes, it becomes so comforting, all of that chaos and disorder. See, look at that, chaos and disorder. Chaos and disorder. And I love it, it's home. Mm, guys, I'm eating papaya right now. Oh, and it is hitting the spot. Yes, look at that papaya fruit. <gasps> it's from heaven, guys. Look, mm, it's so cold and fresh. Mmm. 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 It's the perfect amount of mild sweet. I love mild sweet. Do you guys like mild sweet? 
Mmm. Mmm. So good. Malaya squad. Papaya is so yummy. Malaya is flying around. She's excited. You excited, Malaya? Mmm. Oh, so good. What are you holding? What's in her mouth? Good morning, my boy squad. These days are just flying by. Okay, so now we're going to go look for a place to have breakfast. Get some exercise, sunshine, vitamin D, right? For our bones. All right, see this lady here? She's selling puto and kuchinta from Pangasinan, from Kalashau, which is like the capital of puto in the Philippines. And in case you guys don't know, for you non-Filipinos, puto is not a swear word in Philippines. It's a yummy dessert made from rice. Yeah, salamat ate. We will come back to buy some on the way after breakfast. So this house here, guys, was one that I was looking at, possibly buying. And it looks very simple from the front, right? And it's got an electric fence too. But it's deceiving. It is a massive, massive house. It is so long. I forget how many square meters, but it's really big. It's got so many bedrooms. And um, the reason I didn't get it was because it doesn't have a backyard and I need a yard. If I'm gonna get a house for the first time, I need a yard, especially for pets. So these ladies are here to clean the barangay. Yeah, they keep this neighborhood nice and clean. It's really nice. Wow, guys, this is a new restaurant here. <gasps> Interesting. It's not open yet, but I can't wait to eat here. That sign says firing up the oven soon. Ooh, I can't wait. It looks delicious. Now, I was looking at possibly buying a penthouse condo in this building. And it was gorgeous, guys. Like, the most beautiful condo ever. My mom was here visiting last year. and I took her there and she's like, yeah, you should get it. But I waited too long and it got sold. They tried to offer me other units, but I'm like, no, I wanted that one. I'm so ready to move to a more ample living space, can you tell? You know, for my animals, for our work. We got our neighborhood vendors selling various Filipino snacks and foods. Mmm, carinderia where you guys can eat. See, you can buy food here as well. Look at how gorgeous this street is. <gasps> it's amazing. Look at all the old growth trees that are growing here. Acacia and so many. I love it. I would love to live on this street. This here is Polytechnic University, PUP, and it's the San Juan campus, because we're in San Juan right now. It's a state university. All the students there are having some kind of assembly. Wow, look at this tree. It's gorgeous. It's like a tree, but there's like epiphytic plants growing up its bark. I love it. Gosh, I love the wildlife and plant life here in the Philippines. We're so lucky. Look at this, a living wall. Look at this place, guys. Exciting. They sell fresh eggs wholesale. Interesting. So a lot of these homes have families that run their own businesses from their home. It's really cool. Local entrepreneurship, again. Like, see this? It's too early, so this restaurant is closed. It's called Gastro Box. Never eaten here yet, but the food looks so delicious. So this is the front of the restaurant, but if you look behind the restaurant, there's actually a house there. So that's where the family lives. And then they run the restaurant from the front of their house. Really cool. And look at this, guys. Performing Arts Foundation Ballet Jazz Tap Flamenco Hip Hop Ballroom. This here is a dance studio and school. Love it. All right. So this is one of our favorite breakfast places here in the area. This place is called Co-op. Oh my goodness, so yummy the food here. <gasps> so guys, I've taken you here before, but I don't know if you recognize this place. This is where we shot the parody F to the I-L-I-P-I-N-O. I'm Filipino, F to the I-L-I-P-I-N-O. See, we shot it here. Same spot. Right? Yeah, it is exactly, this was the same spot right here. <sighs> it's a really cool place, look. So they sell all of these really cool trinkets, all locally made so again local entrepreneurship this cafe slash restaurant has partnered through consignment with a lot of manufacturers of these cool things 
and distributors. It's really nice. See, like literally random stuff for the home, for kids. See, you got models there. Ooh, an ant. How nice. Um, books, ornaments, and items you can hang in the house. They've got bags. They've got like handmade toys. See, really cool, cool stuff. Backpacks. Wow. Military bag. Interesting. Um, they sell coffee. Random magnets, candles, just total randomness, anything really. Oh, what's this? Banana jam? Mmm. Tomato pepper jelly? Wow. <gasps> cashew nut. Oh man, this looks yummy. This is like, this is cashew peanut butter. Mmm. See, it's really cool. I really like it. And the menu is delicious. Wait till you guys see the food here. We've met the family and they're really, really nice. We've met the family that owns this place and they're also very, very nice. Mmm, guys, look at this. Truffle omelet. Mmm, <gasps> truffles. And look at RJ's salad. Mmm. Look at those onion rings. Can I have one? Yeah. He's taking an Instagram photo. Mmm. Mmm, my boy, he's got this onion ring. Mm. Let's try this truffle omelet. Ooh, look how cheesy it is! Mmm, yum! Mmm, oh man! Yum! Mmm, that's white truffle oil. Mmm, delicious. Ooh, look how cheesy that is! That's a cheesy omelet. Mmm, sometimes cheesy is good. Look at this grilled onion. Mm. Mm. My jasmine tea arrived. Yes. And I love these coasters. Look, they're the Scrabble pieces. <gasps> so funny. Oh, guys, part two of my breakfast. It's pancakes. Oh my gosh, I haven't had pancakes in so long. <gasps> and I'll be going to the gym later, so I figured let's have some calories to burn. Mmm, I can't wait to have these pancakes with syrup. <gasps> mm, look at that butter sliding away. So RJ and I are going to split the pancake. There are two of them here, giant ones. <gasps> oh my gosh, and it's so perfectly like crispy on the edges. Mm. Yes. Time to drizzle the maple syrup. Mm. Mm. Yummy. Mm, look at that perfect pancake. <gasps> Ooh, yum. Mm. Can't wait to have this. It's been years since I've had pancake. This reminds me of when I was growing up in Canada as a kid. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes. I'm seven years old again. Mm. 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 So good. Mm. What's up guys? Oh my gosh, super duper excited right now. I'm home, about to get ready because this evening we're going to a very special place. Can't wait to take you guys there, my boy squad. It'll be with Mark. And this special place is called 